The death toll from the Maui wildfires climbed to at least 93 late Saturday, making it the deadliest U.S. wildfire in more than 100 years, according to research from the National Fire Protection Association, as authorities work to identify the victims and sift through the burned communities of western Maui. This is the largest natural disaster we've ever experienced, Hawaii Governor Josh Green said at a Saturday night news conference. It's going to also be a natural disaster that's going to take an incredible amount of time to recover from. Whipped by winds from Hurricane Dora hundreds of miles offshore, fast-moving wildfires wiped out entire neighborhoods, burned historic landmarks to the ground and displaced thousands. As searches of the burned ruins continue, officials warn they do not know exactly how many people are still missing in the torched areas. We've gone through tsunamis, earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, but this event was much more catastrophic than any of those here, Green said. While the Federal Emergency Management Agency earlier on Saturday said it was premature to assign even an approximate dollar amount to the damage done on Maui, the governor estimated that the losses approach $6 billion. The devastation is so complete that you see metals twisted in ways that you can't imagine, Green said. And you see nothing from organic structures left whatsoever. Here's the latest. Identifying the victims. Only two of the victims have been identified, according to Maui County officials, and authorities expect the death toll to rise. Just 3% of the fire zone had been searched with cadaver dogs, Maui Police Chief John Pelletier said, adding, none of us really know the size of it yet. He urged those with missing family members to contact authorities to coordinate a DNA test to assist in the identification process. Thousands displaced. Estimates indicate the fires have displaced thousands of people, FEMA Administrator Deanne Criswell told CNN on Thursday. A total of 1,418 people are at emergency evacuation shelters, according to Maui County officials. Around 2,200 structures, approximately 86% of them residential, were destroyed or damaged in western Maui, Green said Saturday. Fire containment. Firefighters have made some progress in their battles against the three largest wildfires. The deadly fire in hard hit Lahaina has not grown, but is still not fully under control, Maui County Fire Chief Brad Ventura said. The Palehu Fire, located farther east in Kihei, was declared 100% contained Saturday, according to Maui County officials, while a third inferno in the hills of Maui's central upcountry was 50% contained on Friday. Cell phone services coming back. While the fires initially knocked down communications and made it hard for residents to call 911 or update loved ones, county officials said Friday that cell phone services are becoming available. People are still advised to limit calls. Maui's warning sirens were not activated. State records show Maui's warning sirens were not activated, and the emergency communications with residents was largely limited to mobile phones and broadcasters at a time when most power and cell service was already cut. Disaster Response Under Review Hawaii Attorney General Ann Lopez will lead a comprehensive review of officials' response to the catastrophic wildfires, her office said Friday. My department is committed to understanding the decisions that were made before and during the wildfires and to sharing with the public the results of this review, Lopez said in a statement.